Floppy goes to school. Hello, Floppy. Close your eyes, said Miss Day. We will pick a name for our new guinea pig. The guinea pig had his eyes closed. He was sleeping under some straw. How many want to sparky? asked Miss Day. Emma raised her hand. How many want to ringo? asked Miss Day. Maxwell raised his hand. How many want to floppy? asked Miss Day. Everybody else raised a hand. Open your eyes, said Miss Day. Our guinea pig's name is a Floppy. All right, said Jasmine. She and Wade slapped the hands. Maxwell walked over to the guinea pig cage. Hello, Floppy, he said. The guinea pig opened his eyes. Floppy, he thought. Who is a Floppy? Had another animal come into his cage? The guinea pig looked in his tunnel. Come on, Floppy, he growled, or I will pull you out. But no animal came out. The guinea pig ran over to his food dish. Get away from my food, Floppy, he said. Back away and no one gets her. But no animal was in the food dish. Two hands pick up the guinea pig. Hello, Floppy, said Miss Day. Floppy, go to the guinea pig. Me, you must be joking. Hello, Floppy, said the whole class. Floppy is not a good name for me, though, to the guinea pig. I am big and strong. Floppy is a sweet, said Jasmine. No way, though, to the guinea pig. I am one bad pig. He's so cute, said Emma. The hands put Floppy back in the case. I'm out of here, though, to the guinea pig. He went under the straw again. Soon he was sleeping. He dreamed that his name was a Butch. Floppy to the rescue. Emma and Wade made Floppy a play yard. Wade put in a box, a coconut shell, and a cardboard tube. Emma put in Floppy. Floppy jumped into the box. He pretended it was a police car and he was a policeman. He chased some robbers. Stop, called the officer Floppy. And I mean now. Why are you making so much noise? Asked the Wade. You are under arrest, though, to the officer Floppy. Wade put Floppy in the coconut shell. Floppy pretended it was a boat. The boat rocked in the storm. Captain Floppy held the wheel steady. The passengers were afraid. Don't worry, Captain Floppy told them, I will save you. Stop rocking, Emma said. You will get sick. I never get seasick, though, to the Captain Floppy. Emma picked the Floppy up. She put him down by the tube. It looked like a spaceship to Floppy. Help, Commander Floppy, cried one of the crew. Space rocks are about to hit the ship. Commander Floppy sat down, put on your sleep belts, he said. That will be a bumpy ride. Commander Floppy turned the spaceship away from a big space rock. Commander Floppy turned the spaceship away from another space rock. He did it again and again. Hooray for Commander Floppy, shouted the crew. Now the ship flew into deep space, but what was this? Another ship was racing toward them. Out of the ship came a giant hand. It turned Commander Floppy's spaceship upside down. Take the ship crew, Commander Floppy called. I will save you from the giant hand. Come out of that tube, said Emma. Take me to your leader, though, to the Commander Floppy. Emma put Floppy back in his case. Have a carrot, said Wade. Floppy went to his footies. A carrot is good, he thought, after a hard day at work. Floppy, the fast thinker, Emma took her door over to Fluffy's case. Fluffy said, Emma, this is baby. Hi, baby, though to the Fluffy. Fluffy, would you like to try on baby's dress? Asked the Jasmine. No way, though to the Fluffy, not me. Jasmine and Emma put baby's dress on Fluffy. So pretty, said Jasmine. Get me out of here, though to the Fluffy. 
Would you like to try on baby's hat? Said Jasmine. No, 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 no. Go to the floppy. And Ma put baby's hat on floppy's hat. Jasmine tied it under his chin. What a little doll! Said Emma. Look at baby floppy, Miss Day. Said Emma. Very cute, said Miss Day. But do you think Floppy is happy dressed up like that? Sure, he is, said Emma. He loves it, said Jasmine. Wrong, thought the Floppy. Wrong, wrong, wrong. May we show Baby Floppy to Miss Zwick? Asked Emma. She was our teacher last year. All right, said Miss Day. Just be careful with him. Jasmine carefully carried the Floppy into Mrs. Zewick's room, but no one was there. Look, said Emma, Mrs. Zewick's class has a guinea pig too. The girls walked over to see it. A sign on its case said Duke. Duke, Emma called, meet Floppy. This can't be happening, though, to the Floppy. Jasmine put Floppy down by Duke's case. Duke opened his eyes and looked at Floppy. "Who are you?" asked the Duke. "What are you?" Floppy thought to the fast. "I am a spy," he said. "I am on a secret mission. That is why I have on these silly clothes." "Wow," said the Duke. "It's time to go, Floppy." Jasmine said. "Say goodbye to your new friend." "Duty calls," Floppy told the Duke. Wow, Duke said again. Don't tell anyone. Then you saw me here," said Floppy. "I want to say a word, sir," said Duke. Emma and Jasmine carried Floppy back to their classroom. They took off the doll clothes and put Floppy back in his case. That was a close one, though, to the Floppy. The end.